Hi and welcome to the 737-800 home cockpit channel. On today's video we are going to build the rudder mechanism. This is purely for cosmetics. Uh, this does absolutely nothing. There is no real mechanism uh, to, to adjust the rudder. So if you search for a video that you really want to find how to build a rudder mechanism to, to, to adjust the rudder then this is not the video for you and uh, you can move forward. Uh, if you just like to see how I build this cosmetic part, then stick around and uh, you'll see how I do it. So the parts are already cut. It's a uh, rather simple, although we need to create some angles on it. And we're gonna start with a large section. We need to take a rectangular part out because this is going to sit on the rudder itself. For the next part, like every other project, I first calculate what the parts are based on the SketchUp model. Then I print them out and I and uh, I went ahead and cut all of them. So for the first part, it's really simple. It's a box. We have the top and bottom, completely the same, and then two sides. The sides will go inside of the box, like this. There will be no screws used, purely glue, not even nails. The box is now completely sundered flush, there is nothing coming out. We can start adding the two sides, the two external sides. So the way this works is there is a 70 degrees here angle. We put them like this. This side is flush with the front. just like that we do also this this way and then we're adding the back in between the sides not on the outside but in between
here I'm adding two balls now on the real aircraft I'm pretty sure that they have a purpose here they're just for show So I'm ready to give it a, a first coat of paint with a, with a gray paint. The, the basic is now done. But what I did, I decided to, before I start with the gray paint, to test it under the cockpit. And I noticed that I have a problem. This goes under the lights panel. And under the lights panel, I, I have a lot of wiring and a few potentiometers to, to dim the, the lights of the panels and that those potentiometers the way they are set up just hit this top part here so what i'm going to do since this is not going to be visible anyway in the cockpit is going to be under i'm going to make a hole in here something like this uh, and in, in that way the potentiometers the bulk of the potentiometer itself will go under in, inside the hole and this sides here will be flush with the uh, the underside of the panel light. So this is the little handle bit I made also painted gray we're going to put the handle on the larger part with his own screw this is a screw that came with a little knob The, the six persons are, are now dried and I've used glue to put it directly on the on the paint uh, they stick pretty good I didn't use normal wood glue I used uh, epoxy glue so looking at pictures on the internet this part here I don't know it seems to be flash with end of the light panel uh, and it's obviously in the middle of this lower part so what I'm going to do from the back uh, I'm just going to drill uh, maybe three screws and I will connect this to this and this is connected to the bottom and ideally this shouldn't move anymore what's missing obviously are the decals here the the, the writings and uh, I, I'm looking for a way of making them uh, if somebody knows a place where you can actually buy them, order them on the internet, please leave me a message below. Uh, I could make them like with a printer and on a, on a sticker, uh, but you know if they're kind of looking more the original is always nicer. As always, guys, if you like these videos, please uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, and if you're not subscribed, subscri sub subscribe so that you can uh, be notified on the uh, new videos 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any advice, anything that you would have done different. Uh, of course, you know, I'm learning. We're all learning through, through mistakes. We'll get better. Uh, next video will probably be about either a flight um, or I'm planning to get some extra equipment from the shop and uh, I'll probably do an uh, unboxing and installation of that equipment. So as always, thank you and see you next time.